That's a challenge to the offensive line, which they eagerly accept. I haven't met a lineman yet that doesn't want to run the ball more than throw it because they get to fire out and really smack someone. And boy, they got it done. I'm sure they were encouraging them on the sideline. Let's go and let's run the ball as well. And they put it in for six. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So a tie ball game here as the kicks away. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And Charles, this is one of those inexcusable special teams penalties, an out of bounds kickoff. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Sometimes errors occur because of situations. Up past the 45 to the 47. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Week seven, Blunt was the only tailback for New England to get a carry. He got all 24 of them at 127 yards. And I can tell you as a former defensive back, when you're playing against a player like LeGarrette Blunt, you're asking your defensive front and your linebackers to take care of all runs. Because if he gets all the way back to you in the secondary, that's going to be a heck of an impact, and it's going to hurt a lot. And he takes a lot of carries. He's the only guy who carried the ball other than Brady on a couple of scrambles. Yeah, and he hit the end zone twice as well. Now Brady throwing on second down. And over the middle to the tight end, Bennett. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Have we yet met a receiver that wasn't excited about getting a chance to play with Tom Brady? Absolutely not. And Martellus Bennett bringing his considerable skills to New England now. Going to hook up with Mr. Brady for another completion here. Yeah, 90 catches a couple years ago in Chicago, 53 last year for Bennett. Brady into a double team, and it's intercepted. Down the numbers. There he goes. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. He juked him. And he'll probably wish he reconsidered here. It'll cost him 10 yards now with a new rule as he's down at the 15-yard line. The conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Gronkowski got it on the crossing round. And he's brought down after a good game. A pick up there of 36. And that's good for a New England first down. And now they're in the hurry up. 
They go play action here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And that'll bring up second down. As a general rule, receivers love the comeback route because it puts them right in the sight lines of the guy throwing the ball. But in this case, the defenders saw it and were able to knock it away. Blunt, the lone running back. Now Brady. He's got a man. It's his fullback. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves his sticks. And when an offense is doing a nice job selling the play-action pass, a lot of responsibility shifts to the linebackers. They're the ones that have to determine run or pass and get to the proper places on the field. Fresh set of downs here. Brady gives now to Blunt. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Defense diagnosed the play, and it was over in a heartbeat. They fake the handoff. Now Brady on the crossing route. That's caught. Julian Edelman. 15 yards through the air and a first down. And now the Vikings are going to stop it here on defense with a timeout. So as they take it over, we step aside. Field goal unit not out there. They want six before halftime. The final shot before half for Brady. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And with a clock reading zeros, he is into the end zone. What an exclamation mark to the end of this second quarter. Indeed. Indeed. And after that touchdown, we are just a PAT away from a tie game. And I know everyone's going to look at it and go, guess what? Tie game, all even. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, that came a little abruptly here. So working on my apple up in the booth. Hang on here. Let me spit this out. And we can get to the third quarter now. 